And now a man that puts on a show, they say you got to see if you get there early for the Oakland A's games. This left fielder from Cuba, Yoenis Cespedes. 23 homers last year, 15 at the break. Also had a 292 batting average last year, which was the second best first year batting average by an Oakland A. Best only by a guy named Mitchell Page, who I used to like to watch to see. Well, yeah, and he also finished second in the AL Rookie of the Year voting last year behind one Mike Trout. Yep. And here's the first swing. Will it go far enough to center field? Not quite. It'll bounce up there near the truck. But Cespit is trying to get ready for him. And the guy pitching to him, as I used to enjoy watching playing, Nomar. Second base for those real good Oakland A's teams, Mike Lego Gallego. Oh, it's good to see Mike out there. I was talking to him before, and I said, you're more nervous than he is, aren't you? And he goes, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Third base coach of the Oakland A's. The Oakland A's, once again, what do they have the best record from the middle of last year to right now? And you know, Gallego and I are from the same hometown. Except he's a Whittier, California boy, so. Well, this one is halfway to win here. Yeah, that's it is. Yeah, that's Cespedes was trying to hit it there. So he's on the board. Yuenis Cespedes defected to the Dominican Republic after the 2010-2011 season for Cuba. His mom. Oof. Oh, that one oh is smacked. Goodness. Will it stay fair? It's back, 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 back. Way oh. gone. His mom, Estella, pitched for Cuba. On the softball team in the 2000 Olympics said if I was needed his mom said she'd try to come to pitch. Right. <laughs> oh my oh. goodness. This one is headed to the scoreboard. Look out trucks. Oh, did it get the hood? No, it just hit it. He hit it over the hood at 447. I'll tell you what was impressive oh. about that home run was where that pitch it was. It was down and he went down and got that and drove it to center field. Say buying a ticket to the Oakland games, you need to get there two hours before to watch this. Way back up towards the sky, gone. That's the third deck. We see David Ortiz right in front of us, and he just gave this look going, wow. Buster, you got a pretty good fan with you right there. Well, that's because before this started, he said, I think he's going to hit a ball into the upper deck. You were wrong. He's hit two, David. What made you say that? I watched it in Oakland. That was ridiculous. The whole team came out to watch him hitting at Oakland. We were playing there the last series. Like the second day he went out and, and practiced like, like it was a home run derby. Unbelievable. This kid has some sick pop. <laughs> now, before he went up there. Look out. You, that ball had hair on it, Buster. Before he, you, he went up there, you talked to him. He gave him some advice. What would you tell him? I tell him to take his time. You know, don't get wore out. Because I know he's going to hit a lot of homers. But I want him to be prepared for the second and the third round. David, thanks. He made you look smart. Chris, back to you. <laughs> Well, there's a guy that knows how to win a home run derby, David Ortiz, Big Poppy. The most hits of any DH. Passing Harold Baines. Yeah. Did it in Seattle where one of the greats at that position, Edgar Martinez, played. Just did it uh, this last week. Congrats to Big Poppy, one of the great guys. And in the I game. got to see many of those hits, many yeah. of those home runs he has firsthand. My goodness, this could be off the hood. Oh, yes. How about he, he had hit, prior to that one, he had hit four home runs in a row all over 400 feet. Well, let me ask you something. When you played, other than David Ortiz, who, who, and there's a, Heraldus Chapman is Cuban countryman, giving him a little, you know, a little water. A little. Before the at bat, here's what Buster was talking about. He said, you know what? I agree, Big Poppy. <laughs> He's like, that advice is definitely helping him right now. Six and then homers. you saw him take a little breath right here, get a little break. Chapman coming out. They know, they know he has some serious, serious power. 
start to ask you when you oh uh, man uh, it's way back to left field on its way to Mamarinek. Who, when you played, did you kind of try to take a peek across the way? In a yeah, that, that's. I, I thought I was. I thought that was great. What David said. He goes how the whole team came out to watch him take batting practice. Oh man! And back, 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 back. God, that's, center. Tell, that's that's right center. That's a right hander going the other way to right center there to hit that ball a long way. Mm. Mm. Who did you? I watch? would come out. I wanted to come out to see Mark McGuire take batting practice. And I also used to come out and watch Omar Vizquel, try to watch Omar Vizquel take ground balls. That's what I wanted. So there, you know, I wanted to see it from both sides. I wanted to see the defensive side. I wanted to see how beautiful, how great those hands were. But you also knew how far Mark McGuire could hit the ball, and you wanted to see it in the batting. God! Wow. Well, this is quite a show. Pedro Gomez, this is, uh, he's only warming up. <laughs> well, I've got somebody here who played four years against him, as well as on the Cuban national team. Aroldis, what kind of a player was he in Cuba? ¿Qué tipo de jugador era en Cuba? Bueno, era un tipo honronero, como de, de poder, de, de mucho poder. He was a home run hitter with a lot of power. En, en estilo de, eh, si era estrella, él era estrella en el equipo de Cuba. Was he a star on the, in the Cuba? Sí, sí lo era. Era un jugador de estrella, como, pero como muy buen outfield en defensa y defensivamente en todo. A great player all around, not just at the plate, defensively as well, as well as his arm. Aroldis, when you guys were in Cuba, did you ever think about playing in the major leagues? Cuando estaban en Cuba, oh, ustedes oh, soñaban no, de jugar aquí en los Estados Unidos en las oh. grandes ligas. Bueno, no, nosotros no, no soñábamos en eso, no pensábamos en eso. Eh, específicamente ahorita en, el, en la práctica estábamos hablando, con, bueno, estábamos hablando con Mariano y estuvimos conversando eso con Mariano y diciendo que si, si nosotros algún día habíamos pensado en, en estar juntos aquí y saludando en este béisbol a Manuel Rivera y nunca... He said that no, they never really thought about it, but today during batting practice, both he and Yoannis Cespedes came up to Mariano Rivera, and Rivera asked him that question, and he said it's a dream come true to be here. Chris, back to you. It's a dream come true to watch this. Oh, look at this one to left field. Back, back, back. Gone. Like, like nothing. Big Poppy over here with us. <laughs> he's so excited. He's taking video of this. And he does it himself, obviously, from the other side of the plate. But you love how the big sluggers are excited about blasts like this. That's going to get a truck. Way back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> You notice, you notice how so many of the players just get excited of the ones at center field. They go to the deepest part yeah. of the field. Hey, by the way, Nomar, he only's made half of his outs. I, I tell you, he took David's advice. Notice how patient he's been out there. It's this is your first home run derby. It's really easy to get. Just start swinging, swinging at bad pitches. He's waiting for the pitch that he knows he can drive out of the park. What kind of bruise will that young man have on his hand <laughs> having made that grab? That's a thrill, though. Uh, <laughs> this bruise will be in the upper deck. Way back. Almost the upper deck. My goodness. <laughs> you know, certainly National League fans in New York don't know much about Cespedes, so it's certainly not firsthand. We now know all about Josh Hamilton, but I, he wasn't totally known as the slugger until that home run derby at Yankee Stadium. And for about two years, every time he came to New York, even as an opponent, a round of applause when he went to the plate. Cespedes is earning that sort of I rep right I think people here. are going to be watching him and knowing the name a lot more. I mean, I mean, he's playing for one of the better teams in the American League. You have the Oakland A's that I don't think get as much credit. They're in first place going into this All-Star break, and he's a big reason for that. 56 and 39, and what a second half they had last year. They, 
They're not going to be unknown very much no. longer. Took the Tigers to the limit last year. Great series. <laughs> yeah, well, I think he's got the hang of it. That one, that one, it looked like he just swung really easy. I mean, it, <laughs> that one just jumped off his bat. He's got 15 home runs, ladies and gentlemen. We got two outs to go. Each of the previous home runs, $3,000. Uh, make it another three. Way back and gone. Oh, another one in the third deck. I mean, how many is that in the third deck right now? Of the 16 home runs, about five, six of them? You know, Buster only keeps track of a lot of things. Right. You keeping track of the third deckers? <laughs> Absolutely, and so is David Ortiz. <laughs> when he well, so what's the number two? When oh. he just went and talked to him and handed him the Gatorade, he said Cespedes has said to him, I'm gonna take it easy from now on the rest of this round. Yeah, I can see that he's doing that. He's just using a three wood now. Well, the way it is, let's not forget too, it's a when you, if you make it to the next round, it's a combination of both rounds right. to get it. So even, let's say he's up there at 17 right now. He hits one or two it could, uh, in the next round. It could still be enough to project him to the final. I like his chances. <laughs> Gold ball now. Luenis Cespedes, and we, 27 years of age. And we mentioned about Mike Gallego. They're in a good rhythm, and Mike Iogo doesn't throw batting practice, bat practice him regularly. It's Bob Melvin who does that, you know, on a daily basis. He's in, that's his his group, so they're in a great rhythm. So what you're telling me is, as good as Oakland's been playing, they got the best batting practice pitchers too, right? Right. Melvin yeah, Guerrero. Melvin. Yeah, I'm sure they have a they whole coach. What a show by Cespedes! 12 of his 17 homers over 400 feet. And look at the AL squad all run over to give him high fives and hugs. Wow. Man, we're going to have a look at these home runs. Here's the ball up. It, it, this was a high pitch that he just gets on top and just crushes to the second deck. <laughs> Here's. Here, this one is 456. Now, here's one to center field. I mean, when you're in a home run hitting contest, you're trying to go to the shortest oh. part of the field, not the deepest part, <laughs> and make it look short. And this one here, this one I was on your guy. It was down. He went up there to a triple deck. The third deck, you see Big Poppy reacting to that, pointing at that. He called it. Our spray charts include. Almost popping the hood. Cespedes getting a little loose, trying to help his team win. The competition doesn't have to hit, but he's going to go out there. And well, he's sat for a while now. Right. He wants Why to not? do something. But really, if he's great, you know what will happen? So maybe this will be perfect. He hits four. Of course, he'll probably hit 44. <laughs> so if he hits four, we have a team tie. And you there got you an go. NL and an AL in the finals. And it's every it's everything rolled up into one. I mean, we had talk about the captains knowing how to pick them going into this. You had two NL and two AL in the semis. Way to pick them, captains. So we and we you know, got we Cespedes here, and let's not forget he wasn't chosen as an All Star. He was just chosen for this particular event. Way to go, Cano. Yeah. <laughs> He's here to enjoy it. And we are enjoying him. Yoenis Cespedes. With 17 home runs and an amazing first round. He is in the finals. I mean, we heard it earlier in his first round. David Ortiz talking about how the opposing team comes out to watch him take batting practice. Yep. You hear about the power and the strength that he has. And well, there you go. He's, yeah, and well, he's not saving yeah, any okay. of it. Let's he's go like, listen, it's easy. All right, Buster, he's just swinging to stay loose. 
That's right. And he got some advice from Robinson Cano before this round started. Robbie told him, look, just hit five, win the team thing, then you can take it easy, rest up for the finals. By the way, we saw Chris Davis go come off the field. He actually had a bloody hand after his second swing during the last round. He tore a big callus. No more, you know about that, right in the middle of his hand. It was a mess. It was looking like a golf ball, David, right in the middle of his hand just after that second swing. Clearly, some effect. We're, we're hoping Buck Showalter's not watching. <laughs> But like he says, it's a callus. It's the middle of the hand. He, he's going to be fine. Oh, Big, yeah. strong guy like oh, that. Yeah. It's like he's not right. missing anything. You know, it gives us a chance. You heard Mike Piazza when he was here. No more talking a little bit about New York as a National League town. And of course, what the Yankees have done speaks for itself from Babe Ruth right on through for the recent times. They've been great. But of course, with the Giants and the Dodgers, etc. We remember their old parks. Ebbets Field was, was, you know, that was homey. But the Polo Grounds, do you have, I mean, to our young fans of the Polo Grounds, which was the home of the Mets the first two years in 62 and 63, but the home forever of the New York Giants, which is, uh, was just across the street from Yankee Stadium. Actually, the Yankees played there, too, before the house that Ruth built. So do you know the dimension of center field where Willie Mays made the catch? You know how deep that center field was? No, I don't. No. All right, listen to this. 483. How's that? that? That's normal. <laughs> the clubhouse was in center field. 483. So, you know so what it was he, down the line? Okay, so 483 to center. So. they got to give you something, right? Right. At least I'm hoping for right. 310. Left field. 271. There you go. No, right field. 256. How's that? They don't build them like that anymore, no. do they? It's a really, really interesting yes. place. I guess was it sh shaped like a true diamond. By the way, he hit a couple that could have got out of 483. I'm just throwing that in. Little education uh, here while we have time. New York City baseball, the Polo Grounds, was a, you know, a home for earlier the Yankees until they got great with Babe Ruth. And a matter of fact, one last story. When... They used to play the New York Giants a lot in the World Series when they opened Yankee Stadium. And here's Cespedes to center field. They opened Yankee Stadium the first year. I believe the series between the Giants and the Yankees. Right. John McGraw, the manager, refused to let his team dress in the visitors' locker room at Yankee Stadium. They dressed at the polo grounds and roared horse and carriage across the bridge to play at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> So you don't think there was any jealousy uh, there? A little New York lore yeah. goes back a century. At any rate, Cespedes with some lore tonight at City Field. Yikes! But well, you were talking about you were talking about one more to tie it and then stop. And we heard Buster say no. They want five so they can win it and then go on to the final. Tell you what, right now when you look at these two who are in the final, Cespedes and Harper. I mean, how can you not look forward to the final? It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Cespedes, Cuba, defected early 2011 to the Dominican Republic, 27 years of age. Second in the balloting last year to Mike Trout, the American League Rookie of the Year. Bryce Harper, the Rookie of the Year last year in the National League, 20 years young. That will be our finals. So we talked about, hey, new blood, baseball, we got it in the home run derby tonight, Nomar. The Chevrolet home run derby. One other note, because it's a chance to say this here, and I've come to this park. Yeah, this ball is it may hit the truck. It's way back. It is. Oh, oh he got, got it. it. He got it. I asked for one. I said, can we get a window? And he got the window. He got it. Well, you have to love that. <laughs> <laughs> like a rock. The Chevrolet truck. I mean, it's, it's taking a beating out there. Oh, my goodness. There it is. Oh, and it is fair and gone. Off the restaurant windows. Well, that's, the American League wins it. You got so American League won it. You got Cano looked at him and said, "Okay, that's enough." 
Now he can walk off, but he may just, just eh, hit a couple well, of drives. You know, take it easy. <laughs> Both of these guys, I don't think, know how to take it easy. No, you may, we talked about Bryce Harper, the way he plays. Cespedes does the same thing. He plays all out as well. And we can see here at batting practice at a home run derby. Well, take all it out. easy, will you? Back, 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 back. That's on its way to Ron Konkuma. $23,000 a gold ball homer, and we're up to 358 on the gold ball. Hey, I caught the ball. I caught a gold ball. How much is that worth? $23,000. Yeah. You're going to go to the bank at 9.08 a.m. and see if you can cash that in? So Cespedes with 23, the story thus far. Often, the man with the best show in the first two rounds doesn't continue, but he's oh. not saving anything for no. tomorrow night. There's no need. Excellent point, right? You're right. This is it. He gets to rest tomorrow. Bryce Harper, National League. Washington is posted in eighth spot. Can the runner-up to the AL Rookie of the Year last year, Juanes Cespedes of Oakland, keep the AL rolling. Mike Gallego throwing to him, and interesting, coming into tonight's home run derby, and I say this as his first shot is gone in a hurry. His last 71 at-bats for Oakland, he had not hit a homer. Uh, we can throw that this card out might, now? You know, this might get him going. <laughs> I mean, let's think about what the captains have done. If there were a couple of questionable picks, it might have been one, Ioannis Cespedes, because he Not wasn't an all-star. All and here he is in the final. And the other one, Michael Kadir, and he put on a great show as well, made it to the second round. I think these guys know what they're doing. They do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so does Cespedes. Oh, back, my back, goodness. back, 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 back towards Larchmont. Uh-oh, we have to put a voodoo <laughs> I, on him. I, I, th I think Harper was like, uh-oh, that's going a long way. Mm. Uh, that, that's, a that's a lousy double. <laughs> so he needs eight. Buster only, this is quite a show. It really is, and before this round, Cespedes reiterated to Mike Gallego, who's throwing to him, I want it low and in and slow and knee high. And Gallego told me that's different because a lot of hitters want the ball away from them a little bit, not Cespedes. He is a serious competitor. Other American League players are telling me an hour before this competition he had his game face on, which is exactly the experience the Oakland Athletics have had since he joined the team. Billy Bean told me the first thing that the Athletics learned about Cespedes is he wants to win. Reminds him a lot of Kirk Gibson. Nothing wrong with that. Thank you, Buster. Buster and Pedro doing a great job filling us in on, well, all sorts of stuff and then some. Oh. Cespedes to left center field, back, 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 and gone! That one he got under just a little bit and had so much backspin and carry. <laughs> I mean, the kids out there were going, okay, I think this one might, and it just carried right out of the park. Oh, 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 this one's headed toward the Throg's neck. Gone. So Cespedes with four. The Harper family looks on. We've got eight. Will it stop? Because eight in the finals is would win the majority, as you pointed out earlier, Nomar. <laughs> The majority of what? They didn't include this guy. God! Once again, there's a target out there, and he was aiming for it. In 21 years since an Oakland A has won a home run derby, that would be Mark McGuire, 92 in San Diego. That's a long time ago. 
Jason Giambi certainly put on shows both as an A and a Yankee. But Cespedes putting on this show to dead center field. Oh, it's the wall. White, 407 and a half. Both of these guys, Harper and Cespedes, second oh. year. Does that stay elevated? Yeah! So he hits right. one 407, it doesn't go, but 338 yeah. and a half goes. What a great game. It is a great <laughs> game. Eight to tie, nine to win. Sometimes you just need good aim in this game. I want it low, I want it in, I want it to the knees. Watch out over now, there. Now anything that goes, you wonder if it's gonna carry. It, yeah, exactly. Look at this. And here's that one that just barely gets out. Almost got the audio dish. Now there was a couple. That one that carried, the one before that that didn't go out, that when he hit 407 yeah. and it didn't go. You know, we can notice we have a good angle here, but I've seen a lot of guys take batting practice, and you can see the ball straight off of their bat when it goes up in the air. Oh, he just missed it. Even be instead of watching it, I was like, he just missed that thinking it wasn't going to carry well, 400 you feet. You didn't think that yeah. there? This is way up uh, there! Gone! Bryce Harper has eight. Cespedes has seven. We estimate that would have gone 473. Those here at City Field on their feet. This to tie. There it is. Oh, yeah. This is way time. Oh. Off the restaurant. Prime rib is served. They're going to have to clean those windows because there are a lot of ball marks in that restaurant. We've seen this. We've seen that man say one more before to his son. Look at this. Bang! Two and a half years ago, Cuba. Tonight, New York, with a chance to win the Chevrolet Home Run Derby. Oh, and he wins it with a plum! Back, 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 back! Go! Yoannis Cespedes has won the home run derby. Look at that, that's the championship belt. belt. Look at it. 455 feet for that one, huh? And Robbie Cano says, you know what? I'm the captain. I made the pick. And let's you not forget, look in order to Bryce. have a great performance, you, had you have to go out there and you got to have something to strive for. And Bryce put on a tremendous show as well. Mm. <laughs> it's an unbelievable show in every round. I mean, and just think, I mean, he kind of laid up in the second round, kind of, right? But he saved it for this, Nomar. Look out! I mean, he, we saw him hit line drives just over the left field fence, but he was hitting hitting him up into the third deck, the second deck, over there in left field. I mean, he was hitting the restaurant. He was, and then 
this is how you finish it off. That's a great shot, guys. Over the apple, over the trucks, and over the apple. <laughs> The belt, the trophy, there's Tony La Russa who knows something about championships. Four hundred and fifty-five feet to win it. The new Bash Brothers awesome. in Oakland. Unbelievable.